Red oh, I thought that was the Red Octobers. <laughs> hey, once again, I was right. What? I picked a good venue to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was good. Oh, this he was got good. the hoodie, the, uh, yeah. the Yeah. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> Hey, you got the rip, like all the other the uh the older uh Griselda and stuff. I do have some older Griselda stuff. Really? Oh, so you got the Rick Flair and all that? Not not that old, but I'm I gonna did wear that. Up, I did hit up the uh, West Side Gun pop up when he came out here, uh, and sword. I got I got a White Sox shirt that was all Griselda out, mm -hmm. and I got a Bulls championship shirt too. Is Griselda your uh is that your favorite artist right now? Like Bing? Probably. Ben? probably Probably Man. up there just because they're so grimy with the shit, you know, for real. And all different, you know, yeah. like West Side got the high voice, yeah. Conway just grimy, I mean, and many, many like, bars, you know, yeah. like, yeah, I fuck with them heavy. Yeah. Uh, what you got, what, what you got interesting for us today, man? You got the Freddy Kruegers? I do not have the Freddy Kruegers. <laughs> you got Red October? I do not have the Red <laughs> October, but hey, how about this? You got Travis Scott, so that's I got the Legend of Summer. Jordan won Justin Timberlake, only giving to Justin Timberlake's friends and family. These are 10 bands. So how did you get them? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of look like Justin Timberlake, like you could be related. Hey, I might hit a little two-piece. <laughs> I never heard, you heard of those? No. Nah. Uh, these ones, what are these called? Uh, the Teen Wolves. Yeah, There's a movie called Teen Wolf where he's a teenager and he turns into a werewolf. Yes. 72 pairs made of these. Only 72 pairs. Well, how did you get a pair? I was in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> how much? How much you? Uh, these are five grand. Yeah. Yeah. So this your highest price shoe yes, up here. Yep. Got it up top. High price. Yep. What is your favorite sneaker of 2022? Favorite sneaker of 2022. Bro, I'm going to be a non-crowd pleaser and I'm going to go eBay SB. Just because I cop so much shit from eBay. Like, my whole table probably came from eBay, you know? So they did a lot for me and I'm repaying them for that. I, I rock it. I skate it, you know? I love that shit. Are those up here? What's up? Shoe up here? No, I don't have the eBay up here, no. What? Well, not these three. The, the off-whites, you got to go with that. Those are so hard. Yeah. Man. That's the set right there. How long have you been collecting? I've been collecting for probably like eight years. Oh, you're real. But I've been, I just started selling like maybe two years ago. Like, just to show everyone these crazy dunks, these crazy shoes, you know? What you, what you think of mystery boxes? Uh, the guys at SneakerCon, whack. But, <laughs> but I'll do a mystery box and I'll give you a good deal, you feel me? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you, won't, yeah. you won't rape them over the head. No, no, I will not give you a brick shoe in a, a rep box. <laughs> like, hell no, bro. I've, I've sold a mystery box. It was like a thousand dollar mystery box. I oh. gave like fifteen hundred value. You know, all, oh, all, okay. all, all DS stuff. Just like it was multiple, like multiple pairs. pairs of eight yeah, pairs of shoes. Eight pairs I shipped to him. Yeah. Oh, they know it was eight in there. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. I told him, yo, you getting eight pairs? He's like, that's sweet. So, Look, yeah, that ain't yeah. bad. That ain't bad. Put it that way, that ain't bad. Yeah. Got the uh, Heinekens, I see. Heinekens, two Those pairs, yeah. That's rare. Those, that's, a, that's not a sneaky. That was a canceled release because yeah. Heineken saw the star. They saw the trademark. They were like, no, you cannot do that. So <laughs> how did you get a pair? <laughs> you said three pairs of shoes that's impossible to get, right. but you got them. Right. That's what I strive for, man. What's the longest? This was canceled. What's the longest you, you What's the longest you waited in line? I don't wait in line, man. Not anymore. No, I hit retail at my skate shop. I skate for a skate shop, so oh, okay. I just walk out with that. Really? But you wait in that sneakers line or that Yeezy line, you know, online for hours. Like, yeah. Oh, you got the pigeon. Yep. The, the nerd. Pizza. You got the nerd. Yes, sir. You already know. Right, right. What, what's the most you spent on a pair of shoes? Um, man, it was a 1985 Jordan 1 red. I spent 2700 on it. Game worn? It was not game worn. It had an OG box. I flipped it for 7K. Woo! Now that? It came from Chicagoland area, too. I bought it from the original owner. So eBay? Like, What's that? eBay? No. No, oh, I met up with them in person. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Shout out eBay, though. <laughs> Yo, I got one more question for you. What's right. a sneaker that you rock where you was worried about your safety? Where you was like, you know I read October's if you wear them like motherfuckers. Okay. So what is what's a shoe that I wear? Yeah, that like, like everybody was just 
I I just picked up the CPFM uh, pure platinum crystal ones. The the all shiny Savarsky yeah, crystal, yeah, the okay. dunk. I just picked those up. Yeah, but I was looking at you right, like those you're like, what the hell you got <laughs> you got disco shit on your face. Right. Yeah. Like Appreciate it, man. Yeah, thank, you, bro. thank you, thank you. Yo, what's, you got a car? Yes, we can sir. follow you. I go by Doctor Dunk, bro. Doctor Dunk. Yes, sir. I understand because you have dunks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, thank appreciate you, it. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. When, when did you start this line? So my, the original person who started the Midwest Kids, his name is Daryl Brown. Okay. I met him, partnered up with him and his buddy Benny, and they're actually out of Ohio. So I went to uh, like an event similar to this, met up with them, partnered, started doing this. They had another partner. Well, they were, so they had a divide, almost like if you two split, I don't want to put their business in the street, but <laughs> right, right, right. somehow they were creative consultants together, then they wind up, boom. So the guy who I met initially who brought me into the Midwest Kid Cypher, Bigotti, DJ, he started the Mud Maid Shop. You can see these are more collegiate, solid right. colors. These right. are more flavor, the colors he picked. So they have their creative a little bit, I you like know, both. step right. So Toledo Mud Hens, this is the Mud Maid brand. Started from nothing, now you got it. Basically is what he's, you came from the mud, now we're famous or we made it successful. So, so, so what's next for you guys? So what's next is we try to do the partnership with Currency, the Jet Life Midwest. Shout dude, out to Currency. Yeah, definitely. big fans. Big I mean, fans of Currency. Oh dude, definitely. <laughs> uh, met him a couple times, got the Yacht Club coming, Great Lakes Yacht Club. That's very really similar to what Currency gets on. Cannabis yeah, thing, partnered yeah. with the dispensary out of the Midwest, Urban Gardens. Mm. So they're going to be supporting a lot of the Kush movement that we do. And then the Guides and Goats sneaker line for all the sneaker collectors too. So we're going to stop with the five brands. Midwest Kids is probably the most popular. Like I said, the ambassadors we have, LeBron, Kanye, Common, Machine Gun Kelly. How did you get LeBron in this, man? So <laughs> What's the cheat code? Actually, true talk, Daryl Brown used to be a stylist for Kanye. So, he's Chico. really a fashion dude, you know, he's all about the cuts, the material, right. but while he was waiting for his garment, his design to come through, which you can actually catch Kendrick Lamar rocking, Cam Newton rocking, he wound up doing this to pass the time, but it wow. turned out to be so dope, and it just spawned off of that. So, really, Daryl Brown and my boy Benny are the ones who initiated everything. I bought into it, opened the store in Kalamazoo. Like you said, I should have a brick and mortar. I do. Um, That's Illinois, Kalamazoo? Michigan. Oh, Michigan. Yeah, so did that. And I actually used to tour with Wu-Tang. So wow. I that brand. I also a big fan, Wu-Tang. Yeah, we are. Shout out to Wu. Shout got, out to Wu-Tang. Um, stuff with me and Inspector Deck on here. Unc uncontrolled Substance. Oh. Good Whoa, album. Oh, look at you, Young <laughs> Buck. Oh, young <laughs> Buck. So I'm very um, hyped to have him repping one of our Honeygram brands. It's a Kush brand as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's all about the streetwear brand. We just wanted to do something for the Midwest. Everyone else has representation. Right, yeah, yeah. New York, East Coast, yeah. But there was nothing here. So Daryl Brown really tapped into something. And then to have LeBron rock it, probably flipped everything in the fast. Yeah. Overnight, so, right. Yeah, and then Kanye too. So it was huge, man, it was huge. I was just glad to meet the dude and build and then be able to be a part of it. Wow. How old are you? 48. When did you start doing this? 46, 45, yeah. Oh, yeah. so recently. Yeah, recently. And this is My what? kids do this. They got me in like trying to get the shoe niggas. Niggas. But I used to hoop in Jordan. I'm telling right. them, right. I hooped in them. He was like, dad, it's blasphemous. Right. <laughs> they don't want to hoop in them but, now. So yeah, so this is me and Dak. On the tour bus, he's rocking my Kush brand Honey Grams, which is nice. the right here, which okay. I created right. myself. So it's a lot of markets to tap into, the cannabis, the shoe, the streetwear. I was just happy to, you know, jump in because being on tour with them, I saw how many WTs they were moving. Right, through. right. I was like, this don't make no sense. <laughs> Y'all just putting a W on a, on a gilded and it's, <laughs> and it's popping like for 40, 50 bucks. Yep. And then just learning from Deck how to flip merch. And so mostly, I treated this merch, but Daryl would probably call it apparel. 
you know, okay. he likes to have you know, his level to that. So. Okay. But I came here just, you know, get out of the house, come out of Michigan. <laughs> get out the do house. Do something like Get this. a couple of bucks. You know, you know like get a couple bucks, make a couple sales. So your main thing is the store? Um, the store, so I do pop-ups. Even though I'm, oh, I could be open every day, I do once a month pop-ups. I have podcast people come in. You can check out Kicks and Kush. They'll come in, and I just have a DJ come in, and I do something, my only my stuff. Alcohol, everyone party, buy beer, and they leave. So my busiest, the way I make most of my revenue is online. Because there's okay. so many transports who, you know, I just do marketing, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook ads, and then people go online and they buy. So either they used to live here and not in Atlanta, or New York, or Cali, or the Carolinas, and I ship. I even ship to Australia. Wow. So it was just dope to be here. My kids, like I said, they were like, you should come check out one of these sneaker events. And I was like, bet. It's only my second one. Okay. So, uh, this is good, though, man. You know, yeah. I'm going to definitely support. We like, definitely it, like it look like LeBron. I'm like, man, it is. So, <laughs> yeah. You go watch the HBO shop. He is rocking the black on black. Okay. Man. Okay. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, Thanks. What's up, man? man I'm grinding, bro. Keep grinding. Keep doing it. Yeah. Now, st stickers on the way. I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to hand you a sticker when they, when they get here. Appreciate it, man. All right. Thank you. See you. What's the highest price shoe up here? Uh, probably these for 1.3. That's not only because they're rare. Oh, 1.3K. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, like 900, 800, I think I got right for some like... So well, you're not haggling with these. <laughs> I can haggle a little bit. Oh, okay. Everything, everything haggle. Yeah, everything <laughs> haggle. All, all is it? Say is yes. no, right? Everything, yeah. you offer up. Yeah. Yep. yep. Well, that stock I'll be a little more for mine, but the worn stuff, yeah. Like, oh, okay. How much for the pump? The pump? Asking five. Yeah. And then five for the OG 1989. Yeah, that's the original, right? Yeah. 1989. 